Hi, my name's Dave. Welcome to Bowman's Hill Wildflower Preserve. I'm here to help you never get poison ivy. How do you do that? You have to learn to recognize it. There's a lot of little memes around. Three leaves, let it be. Hairy rope, don't be a dope. Those are none of the ones that I use to identify. So, three leaves, let it be. If you come over here, you'll notice that we have three leaves. And we have five leaves that some people mistake for this. And we also have the one we're looking for, poison ivy. Poison ivy has an oil in it, Urashol oil, that about 50% of the population. Oh, let's get serious now. Urashol oil is, reacts to about 50% of the population with a rash or blisters. And you certainly don't want to get that or find out if you happen to be allergic to it. So the best way is to avoid it. The best way to avoid it is to know how to identify it and know what it looks like. So what I do is I think of the human body as I have a head, I have a neck, I have two arms and a body. And then I look closely at a poison ivy plant, lead leaf, I consider that my head, and then it branches down to two leaves that are joined together as are my arms and then it goes down into my body. So if you remember that, you're going to remember what poison ivy looks like. Other things that have your show oil, not here, but out in west, we have poison oak. People will ask about that. They'll also ask about poison sumac. We don't have any poison sumac here, and you probably won't ever run into poison sumac unless you're standing ankle deep in a swamp or a, or a bog, because that's where that grows. There are other plants that do have your show oil on them mangoes, cashews, uh, pistachios, but don't worry. Um, you're not going to get any reaction from those unless you're super, super duper sensitive. So if you recognize poison ivy, the three leaves is the important part, the narrow neck and the two leaves starting out down into the base, then you'll know that's poison ivy. Don't touch it, you're not going to get allergic. Unless you have some more information about poison ivy, there's another mnemonic device out, hairy rope, don't be a dope. If you look closely here, You'll see a vine growing up the side of the tree with all sorts of little attachments to the tree. That's the hairy rope. That's poison ivy. How do we know it's poison ivy? You look at the three leaves, you look at the, the head, the one branch coming down out of that leaf, and the two leaves on the side, and then down to the body. One of the problems with that, you might not recognize this as poison ivy. All plants want more sun, so it creeps along the ground, goes up the tree to look for more sun, and then occasionally you'll get a branch of the poison ivy sticking out and it looks like a tree. Sometimes it'll look like a shrub. So beware. Anytime you see the leaves as I describe them, if you stay away from them, you're not going to get poison ivy unless, of course, you might touch a tool or something like that. So let's say you've made a mistake. You've touched poison ivy. Oh, my God. Could have done. What do you do? Well, you have time to counteract that. You get poison ivy from the oil that's inside the plant. So what do you do? You have some time. Oh, maybe 93 seconds. Well, maybe a little bit longer than that. What you need to do is wash your hands with something that gets rid of oil. Now, alcohol preparations you might be carrying around these days. My best one that I use is merely dishwashing detergent. So you wipe your hands off and you, the surfactants in there have gotten the oil moving around, but the most important thing is wipe your hands off. That gets the oil off of you. So if you do that, you'll be okay. And I still have hmm, 70 seconds left. Actually, it'll, you probably have a good deal of time, depending on how sensitive you might be, if at all. Anywhere from 10 minutes up to a couple hours. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for visiting. Hope you had a good time here. Lots of fun. Information, sun, shade, mist, rain, it, there's always something new to find here. If you like these videos, please like us on Facebook.